We are in year 10, which is a very important year for running backs. At this point, you should be close to retiring. That's why you saw last year they were asking me questions during the offseason about how close am I to retiring. I'm now 31 years old. In terms of the all-time stats, I'm at 16,969, which is a little bit less than 2,000 away from the all-time record. I'm pretty sure I can get it this year. And then in terms of rushing touchdowns, I actually only need seven touchdowns to become the all-time leader in rushing touchdowns. And then I have a career average of 6.4 yards. So this year is very important for me. I've already said it before, too, that this is going to be my last year. I'm a four-time pro bowler. Um, being a seventh-round pick and having such an impact, winning a Super Bowl for my home state in New York, I think I've accomplished almost everything you could even imagine accomplishing so I'm going to simulate the preseason I've been thinking about it for a while I'm probably going to just play his last home game and his last actual regular season game I'm going to do it exactly how I did it the last nine years I'm going to simulate so that's the first three this is the next three and then we're going to be up to the Saints game. I'm going to do it exactly how I've been doing it all this time. There's a good Jets game there at the end. The Redskins are one of the last games. So Cowboys and Redskins, between those two, one of them have to be his last home game and then his last NFL game. But then again, too, technically, if we keep going like we've been winning all these games, we might be in the playoffs, so the playoffs might be one of his last game. Of course, by now the league understands this is going to be my last year, so there's going to be interviews. Are you afraid that the team will draft a younger talent at your position? No, nah, that's just the nature of the business. How's your contract situation? Fine. What direction do you want the team to go this offseason? No comment. Would you consider retiring if it happens? Mm. I'm not going to re be replaced. Yeah, it's weird because they don't really give you too many options of even how to answer. They kind of just put it to where you have to say something rude. <laughs> and then they get mad that you say something rude. So, simulate to the Saints. We get to week, I think it's 10 actually. I'm not sure. Might be 9, might be 10, I'm not sure. But we're at the Saints game. Standings wise, we are. It's usually 10, so we're 3 and 5. Yeah, it's usually 10 because there's always a week off the bye week in between. So we're 3 and 5. Um, Eli, 14 touchdowns, 1 interception. I am at 1,056 yards with 12 touchdowns, averaging 6.8 yards a carry, 132 yards a game. And so I am a couple hundred. Well, I'm already the all-time leading uh, leader in rushing touchdowns. And in terms of all-time yards, I am 355 yards, 335 yards, or 330 yards away from being the all-time leading rusher in NFL history. Imagine that, averaging 119 yards a game for my career, 6.4 yards a carry. And I only need 300 yards to be the all-time rusher, leading rusher. I think that's something that might be very interesting for me to play.
I kind of made a mistake because I should have played that game where I became the all-time leading or leader in rushing touchdowns. But I think if I simulate these next two right here, I might be the Tampa Bay game might be the game where I become the all-time leading rusher. As expected, the game that we're going to break the all-time rushing mark is going to be against the Buccaneers. Let's go look at the stats. 13-19. I think I only need a couple yards. So maybe from like my first carry, I might be able to break the record. I need... Seventy seven yards, I think it is. Cause it's three fifty five I gotta get to. So like seventy seven yards. So this game against the Buccaneers should be the one that I break the record. And I blew the touchdown record out of the water. I wish I would have paid attention and played that game, but that's fine. So we're gonna play the Buccaneers here. And then, like I said, I'm going to play my last NFL game. Wow, we went down. I tried to go back, and it always makes me go all the way back. Dang. Our defense is horrible. This game is in New York, which I guess is cool. Am I in the tunnel again? Doesn't look like it. Alright, we'll skip that then. We're getting the ball first anyways. We come out throwing, which obviously I never like, but it is what it is, right? I'm almost done. Career's almost over. Can't complain. The game is going into the passing era, and I just gotta let it go. Go ahead, bro. The clock, bro. We get a delay a game because we're sitting here like pointing and looking in the defense. It's not because of nothing else. I always dislike the fact that the game does that. Now I come out the game because we got to go five wide. And now we doing it like it is 2023 because we're over here trying to throw screens and quick passes. All because we come out and we're looking around and wasting time. So third and 15, nine seconds off the clock. See, that's the bad part of throwing it every play. If you don't get a completion, you take no time off the clock. And here you go, get a ball back to the other team. Waste of time. All right, we get the ball back and I'm gonna get a carry. We need to hurry up though because as you saw on the last drive to start the game out, we were taking our sweet time, looking at the defense. The defense was looking at us. Everybody was pointing. Look, here we go. Nine, eight. Man, hurry up. Five, four, three, two. And then you give me the ball with no time to think. Oh, that wasn't a bad run. And then he just got hit at the ankles. I don't know how somebody runs into you full speed from like behind and just takes your ankles out, but whatever, right? I need 77 yards to become the all-time leading rusher, so any carry that comes up, I'm going. I'm not even gonna waste no time because I already know how this game can be. Yeah, they overloaded that right side, so I'm gonna just flip it and see what I could get. Hey, he's running this game. That's a good carry. Because what would have been the point of going to that right side where they overloaded it? They load up the box like I'm 25 years old again. Oh, pass the play, of course.
first time was good to me, so I'm not really paying attention that much anymore when they throw the ball. But I got 15, I need 60. 62. I always like it when we can compliment each other. I don't know what it is why they're overloading that right side like that. I guess I'll just go back left and see what I could get. I would like to run a little bit more downhill because as you can see, he gets hit and he gets like flung backwards to the left, which he could have been going a little bit more forward, but pass play. Yeah, I'm not even tripping. If they get whatever they get. Oh, okay. I guess I could get a couple yards for you. Three yards, right? And a catch. And that's one thing I haven't really paid attention either to is my receiving stats. I know those numbers got me on a whole nother level when you look at all time and then all purpose yards from scrimmage. Dang, <laughs> that was my fault. I just caused them to get a delay of the game again. That was my fault. I messed up because I wasn't paying attention. So two delay of games this game. And I don't think I've ever really had delay a game throughout my 10 year career, which is kind of crazy. That was my fault. This dude Lofton is pretty good. That was a clutch catch on 39. Like I said, I like it when we compliment each other. So here, I'm gonna get a carry. I don't necessarily like the stretch play, but I mean, I'm not gonna complain, right? Cause I feel like this play doesn't work. My perfect, perfect example. I get it, and I'm already getting hit. Like, at least they're gonna give me the ball right back. I don't know though. I feel as if the outside runs might not work unless they're a counter. Come on, you're gonna. I was gonna say these up the middle runs will work just because I'm looking at how they're lined up and they're favoring either side if they're gonna favor a side. So like this draw, like these plays up the middle will work. No, bro. Of course he has to fumble. I always say that too, bro. This guy fumbles like every game. I thought it was just a playoff thing, bro. Well, at least they're gonna give me the ball right back and they're gonna give me one of my favorite plays, right? This dude, this big dude ran straight through. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm, I can't, I'm not gonna be a guard. Like, I'm never gonna play a my player in my career kind of situation and be a guard but oh we out of there let's go i saw it that's why i flipped it i was like bro there's too many people on that left side let's go touchdown i am um, what is it 14 yards away from tying the record. 15 yards from becoming the all-time leading rusher. I could care less about playing the Bucks. It's about the record for this game, in all reality. One thing I never really thought about it is even... Just being back home in New York, you know, I never even realized when I picked the Giants, 
that I grew up in New York that I'm playing for the Giants, I really just thought, okay, what team gives me the best chance to win? And it was between the Giants, the Ravens, and the Seahawks, and then the Seahawks didn't offer me, and then the Ravens were like 2-14, and 14, so it kind of was an easy choice. Right now, it doesn't look easy, because I just did two carries for two yards, but with me being very close to the record, but it is what it is, right? All right, let's go. I should be able to get this record though because we're only in the second quarter and only need a couple yards. That's a good play. Nah, we didn't get the first, so probably gonna punt. Why are you giving us a negative when we got a couple yards? All right, I need 13 yards still, somehow, even though I got like two yards the last drive, but still need 13. I don't like this play call. I never did. This play is kind of weird. All right, I'm about to call timeout because we're about to get a delay of game, and I don't like the play call, so. And we're on our own. Uh, we have to run this play, bro. Well, it's only 55 seconds left and a half, so whatever, I guess. My boy Chris Snee blocking. Let's go. This is what I be talking about. What we sitting here looking at for so long and fixing chin straps. You should have fixed it on the sideline, bro. Let's go. I was just about to say, that would have been the run. I only need about four yards. Who called a timeout? Us? Bro. Bro, I need five yards to become the all-time leading rusher in NFL history. Five yards. He just got cracked like an egg. He just got cracked. <laughs> he got the ball. <laughs> he didn't even do a three-step drop. That dude was on the ground. Flip that. Don't send me to the same side as the dude that just cracked you. I need five yards right here, bro. And we got to snap it because the play clock and the time clock for the quarter is almost identical. So we have to snap it. Let's see if I can get it right here. How did I flip it to get away from him and this dude still, like, he did, like, a little two-step and came and make the tackle, even though I flipped it to get away from him. That's crazy. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> he was tripping. All right, I need four, five yards to become an all-time lead in Russia. Let's see if I can get a block right here. See, I haven't even been doing these things anymore, like putting up the stats. I don't even care, bro. Let's just play. I haven't put up the stats since like year three, back in the early days. Yeah, they overloaded the left, so why the hell would I run to the left? Oh, give me that block. We out of there. I'm the all-time leading rusher in NFL history. Let's go. Let's go. Just like that, I'm the all-time leading rusher in NFL history. But, right? I'm not trying to be like LeBron, where you set records and lose, so we still got to finish this game. So still got to get the win. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> Delay the game again. I don't even care at this point. That's how you know I'm ready to retire. I just got three Delay games in one match. One event. I don't even care, bro. Let's just go. Let's just finish this game. Let's just win so I can get up out of here and call it a career. Oh, yeah, he running the ball today. Yeah, he running. That was a good run. I don't know how we got through that. Because normally when we get piled up like that, we get tackled. So that was a good 70 yard run.
that was a clutch block by me. I mean, I did kind of get ran over, but that was a clutch block. I really don't want the ball, but I'll probably call for it. I always do. Oh my God. <laughs> this guy, bro. Mm, that's two fumbles in one game. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. Look at this dude, bro. He looked like he was about to. Well, not really, because where he caught the ball, there was two defenders about to like gang tackle him. But he looked like he was in a good position, and then the ball was on the floor. Bro, get out of here, man. You running up over the center. I can all tough. Give us five yards. Whatever. Keep it moving. Let's go. Ooh, lost my chance to run the ball. I mean, we got the completion in the first down, but I'm very selfish, so I'm only really locked in for what I can do right now. If I could score again, that'd be cool. I mean, he ran him over for three yards. And this is a dude that's only five, six. 165 pounds that's one thing i never really talk about either and besides that he's a small running back running in between the tackles but that's why you see a lot of my touchdown runs my big runs i'm to the outside i run a 4-3 right or ran a 4-3 when i came in so why am i running in between the tackles at 5-6 165 and then another cool thing is he does wear 22 which is Emmitt smith's number So it's kind of cool that like during this game we're passing Emmett Smith for everything. Well, we've been past the Russian touchdown record because we only need like five, but it's kind of cool though. I mean, I never really thought about like the little things, like I said, being in New York and the number I'm wearing and all that kind of sentimental stuff. But now that I guess we're closer to the end, I guess it's kind of dawning on me. Ooh, I saw what he was trying to do. It was triple coverage, and then it became one-on-one. -on -one. I need eight more yards for 100, so I think that's my next goal now. That's always what it's been, right? Set little goals in life, and if you accomplish them, set more goals, push boundaries. But, yeah, for this career, I mean, he's all-time leading rusher, most touchdowns. I mean, he's technically the best running back ever, right? Finally, ooh, got him, looking stupid. Finally, I got a catch where I can make a move on somebody. I haven't really been able to get a good catch since like my first couple of years when I was like running out the backfield, catching touchdowns on wheels. I remember those days. I just need eight yards right here. Dang, he just got blasted. Got five. Need three more for a hundred. Actually, I need four yards. 
I don't know. This game's weird. I get like you look at the marker and you think you got the yards, but I guess not. I don't know. It doesn't add up. So I need four more yards for 100. Ooh, I thought I got it right there, but then I just got like taken out. And then you see his weight too. Like when he gets hit, sometimes you see how he goes like flying and you see how his weight like plays a part in everything. Oh, I almost messed up again. Alright, let's see if I get to get a hundred yards right here on this carry. Dang, this dude's walking up already. Ooh. That was a lucky move. That lineman came too high for the tackle. Oh, I just realized too, this is very important. Now I'm over a hundred yards, but I just realized we have a 17-14 lead. So actually, even though it's only a minute left, two minutes left, this is a very important drive. We can't afford to mess around. I just realized that this whole time. I didn't even realize the game was this close. Oh, we got a new fullback because I thought it was that dude, 84 or whoever. Oh yeah, they're trying to stop the clock and everything. We need to get a first down to end this game. I mean, that play was a dumb call, but I mean, whatever. It ain't mine. Let's go to the side with the extra tight end. Oh, oh, finish that run, bro. That was a touchdown right there. He ran through. That was a nice run. I didn't know he had it in him. Been talking about his weight this whole time. I don't really like this play because it didn't work last time. Ooh, okay. It worked a little bit better. Seven yards. I wouldn't mind. Ooh, I think that might have been there last time out. Ooh, that's game. I was about to say, I wouldn't mind me getting another touchdown, but I think we just won. So just let the clock run out on this knee. I think that was their last time out. And I think that's the thing, too, with football, bro. If you could get. One minute left and you're up 17 to 14. Why even run a play, right? All right, this should be the game right here. Why we even lined up for a field goal that we're not gonna kick, bro? I'm trying to have this game be over with. We over here lined up for a field goal for no reason. No, we ain't gonna kick it. Just do like the NFL, walk off the field like they normally do. Last game. I think I had 102 yards, like barely over 100. Like I said, too, I'm not trying to be LeBron. Imagine breaking an all-time record and losing and, like, being okay. I had 118 yards, one touchdown on 19 attempts, 6.2. Had two fumbles. Had a big run, 37 yards. It is what it is, bro. I'm not tripping. Oh, wait. Didn't I have a couple yards receiving? I just saw it up there. I had 143 total, so I had like 20-something receiving. Let's see. I had 25 receiving yards. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm the all-time leading rusher, and now I can just simulate the rest of the season. And there it goes, the end to another video following TJ David on his path to the Hall of Fame. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.